left off with three note voicings, I believe, last time, just doing a regular one, four, five, using just the second, third, and fourth strings, and we were doing the key of A, so quick recap here, uh, flat seven, third, fifth, key of A, right, so it's, okay, and then for the D, which is the four chord, right, five, flat seven, third, and uh, for the five chord, third, flat seven, root on top, right? Okay, so the idea was just using the three middle strings here. Huh? Okay, so... So that's the basic idea. I think uh, we might have gotten into the idea of you could do ninths and stuff like that. But um, whatever it is, they're dominant chords. So I thought I'd expand on, on that a little bit this time. And since we started in the fifth position, I'm going to move down here. And, and then we'll go back up and maybe do a couple more. So staying just with one, four, five in the key of A. All right. So what could we do down here? Here we got our seven our root and our third so for a you're the a right there's your d7 third fifth seventh then back to the root chord that is then for the five you got your e7 right here root fifth seventh okay D7, A7. There's a couple little different ways you could do those too, so I'll leave it up to you to try and um, find those. This is just to get the juices flowing if you haven't messed with this kind of thing before. And and real basically, you know, we're just doing uh, dominant chords here. Uh, okay, so now we've done down here a little bit. We've done fifth position. You could actually go up right here. Let's see here. challenge myself a little bit. Um, okay, so... One, five, seven on the A chord, right? On the root chord. Then for the D7, so you got seven, root, fit, uh, third. Back to the root position. That's nice between one and four. Okay, so where's the five on that one? Right here. You see your E7? Right, so we got five, flat seven, third. To the D7. To the A7. Right, and then turn back around. So. Now, let's see, let's try another one. Let's go up here. Okay, here we go. So we've got A7, which is your third, flat seven, root. Here's your D7, flat seven, third, fifth. Back to A7. Okay, then your E7 is right here just like that d7 down here right so now you can use this finger you know if you want because you're closer to that for the a7 however you want to finger it the point is staying on second third and fourth string playing these little triad uh inversions of these chords so let's see back a7 D7, 
E7. Back to E7. Just mess around with that a little bit, and um, hopefully we'll see you next time. All right, so please subscribe. It's right under here. And that is on a computer, a desktop. If you're on an iOS device or some sort of tablet, it may be located elsewhere. Okay? So um, nice to see you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking in.